It's about an hour before dawn, and we're going to go take some pictures. Welcome to Grant Takes Pictures. I'm Grant, and I take pictures. Today's video is inspired by Nick Carver. He is a local photographer and YouTuber. He shoots on film camera, normally large and medium format film cameras, and that forces him to slow down and really consider each of his shots. And today, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to slow down and really consider my shots. I'm gonna be taking a picture of a Taco Bell in Tustin. It's an old abandoned Taco Bell, um, but the building is clearly Taco Bell. It is a Taco Bell design, probably from the 70s or 80s, and just looking at the building, you know exactly what it was. This Taco Bell was actually a special Taco Bell in my life. Uh, I used to live down the street from it uh, my freshman year of college, and between this Taco Bell, the pizza place a few blocks down, and a 7-Eleven in the other direction, I gained 50 pounds that freshman year of college because that's all I ate was Taco Bell pizza and Slurpees. So, um, I'm gonna be taking a picture of it. I actually scouted out this location uh, last week to figure out the composition that I liked. I tried a whole bunch of different things, walked all around the building, and um, I'm just going to try the one composition I think will work well. So, um, that is this morning, and the sun should be up in oh, about an hour. Blue hour starts in about half an hour. So we're gonna get down there and then uh, get set up and wait for the sun to start lighting up the horizon just a little bit. So, let's, uh, let's get down there and get set up. So here we are at uh, the Taco Bell on Newport Boulevard in Tustin, and it uh, is actually currently lit up pretty well by the uh, by the shopping center on the other side of the street uh, that's just in front of me and behind the camera from where you're looking right now. But uh, you can see the Taco Bell here in the background, uh, and I'm going to. The sky is just starting to light up along the edges. It's not quite blue hour yet, but let's get set up and uh, just wait for the light. up my aperture to f5.6 and I have reduced the exposure length to five seconds I think I can find a five second window when there's no cars so that's my goal I don't really want the streaked lights that you would get in a long exposure shot but um, you know I'm trying to just take a few pictures like I would if I was, had a film camera so hopefully no more than I don't know, 24 pictures today total Alright, here we go. I hit that shutter just a little bit too early. We got the tail lights of the last car that passed by. So we're gonna have to try it one more time.
All right, I got that one that time. So I think I'm gonna wait for the light a little bit and uh, see how it changes, but I'm actually pretty happy with this first photo. The lights on the building uh, right next to me here are very blue and I think it enhances the blue hour feel of the building. So I wasn't expecting it to be lit up quite like that. Yeah. So we will we'll see how the light changes, how it warms as the morning goes on. But yeah, for now, I'm actually pretty happy with that first photo. So a couple of people just passed me uh, here as I'm standing on the sidewalk and uh, they told me that this Taco Bell was used in the movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, that they completely had restored the building and uh, then used it for about like a four or five second clip in the movie. So I don't remember that, but I'm going to have to go back and rewatch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and try to find it. So I thought that was pretty awesome. We're getting even more color in the sky here, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get one more picture. The front of the building is a little bit dark compared to the sky. I don't think I'm gonna like this picture as much, actually, but uh, we're gonna see what we can get. I can always blend them together later, since I haven't moved my tripod at all. I did not end up blending the pictures together later. I was able to raise the shadows and the blacks in this picture, and it came out all right. I don't like it as much as I like the first picture, and as you will see, I do not like it as much as I like the final picture I took for the day, but it turned out about how I expected. The light was just a little too flat, the building a little too boring, but I was able to capture the picture that I had in mind. So the sun is just starting to peek up over the horizon, right about here, and uh, we're going to try to get a picture of it. I need to move these cars to move out of the way real quick though. I got one decent exposure in there. Uh, hopefully the building wasn't too dark. I was quite happy with this final picture of the day. The sun flared just the way I wanted it to, right as it crested the horizon. The building had a little bit more interest because of that sun, even though it is still pretty flat light and pretty plain. Somehow this is more pleasing to me than the previous picture. I'm not a film photographer, but I did like the challenge of trying to slow down and uh, really consider my shots before I took them. I like scouting out the location last week, seeing what I wanted to get. This is definitely a different view than I was actually expecting uh, to want from this uh, location, but because it's of all of the kind of mess around the buildings, this was the cleanest view of the building that I could find. So um, I, uh, I liked slowing down and being more considerate in my shots, but at the end of the day, I'm glad I have the ability to take a bunch of different photos and you know, see which ones work best, try a, a bunch of different things. And I'm not just hoping that I get a good shot, uh, but to have the most opportunities to get a good shot possible. So uh, with that, I think I'm done for the morning. 
I am going to go to this bakery right here, grab a croissant and some orange juice, and uh, head back home and get to work. So, have a great day. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you like my channel and you want to see more of what I'm doing, hit subscribe. And we, uh, I hope to see you again in the future. So, have a great day.